尊敬的亚太地区 ，Mr. President, dear colleagues. Asia Pacific region has long history, and we have rich and colorful, tangible and intangible cultural heritage. Our people cherish this cultural heritage like we cherish our life. Under the joint efforts of all the governments and the people around the world, the United Nations has produced a series of conventions for the protection of cultural heritages. Mainly, there are six, including the Convention concerning the protection of the world cultural and natural heritage, the Convention for the safeguarding of intangible cultural heritage, on the protection and promotion of the diversity of cultural expressions. On the prohibition and prevention of the illegally imported and export of cultural heritage, and、uh, the illegal transfer of its ownership, on the protection of cultural assets during armed conflicts, convention on the stolen or illegally exported cultural heritages. The Chinese government has joined. All the six above-mentioned conventions, and we have signed bilateral agreements or MOUs with six, 18 countries, including the United Nations, Australia, and Peru, to jointly fight against the、uh, theft, illegal excavation, and、uh, illegal entry of cultural relics. We have carried out extensive international cooperations in this regard. China now has 38 intangible cultural heritage projects being listed by the UNESCO, and、uh, this is number one around the world. The Chinese Parliament has. Formulated the law on the protection of cultural relics and the law on intangible cultural heritage. These are two special laws. As for the first law, we have identified the guiding principles for the protection of cultural heritages, and we have strict regulations on different on the regulation and management of different kinds of cultural relics. And for the、uh, protection of intangible cultural heritage, we will identify them, register them, and open files for them, so that we can preserve them. And for those cultural intangible cultural heritages, reflecting the fine traditions of the Chinese civilization and those that have historical literature, science, or art values. We will pass on them to the next generation, and we are going to spread them in order to protect them. It is fair to say that in the protection of cultural heritages, we have a well-established legal system. But we all know that only legislation is not enough. In today's world, in today's globalized world, we know that the cultural heritages, they because of their own values, they inevitably become commodities for trade. And the unstoppable modernization is clashing with traditional culture and traditional ways of life. The power of capital is everywhere around the world. We all know that in such a world, it is not easy for us to protect our cultural heritages. And please allow me to call upon everyone to first. Supervise the implementation of all the relevant UN conventions because cultural heritages are our shared wealth. We should represent the people, and we should be part of the implementation of the、uh, conventions. Second, we should enhance international cooperation in the protection of cultural heritage. The transnational illegal selling of cultural relics. Is one important reason behind the destruction of cultural relics. Therefore, we should join hands in carrying out joint law enforcement and see it as our shared cause. Thirdly, we should enhance the awareness and the responsibility of different governments in protecting cultural heritage in Asia. 
Many countries are still in the process of modernization, and sometimes the pursuit for modernization means the destruction of history and culture. But we should give our voice. We should let people know that history and cultural relics are our shared historical genes. Without rich cultural heritage, modernization can only go backwards instead of going forward. Thank you, everyone. Muchas gracias a China. Tiene la palabra.